what does the future of geriatric treatment look like for myeloma patients? I will say that this is a very exciting time for uh, myeloma. Myeloma treatments have evolved rapidly and with it, the understanding of the role that fitness plays in uh, making decisions about treating patients for myeloma. Uh, more and more we're seeing, especially in the transplant uh, uh, space where patients previously would not have been transplanted if they were over the age of 65, we're seeing that the increasing limit, uh, the increasing age limit for who is eligible for stem cell transplantation as a being very promising um, for the future as we look to um, additional uh, therapies. I think overall, the future is extremely bright, especially when we think about older adults and the way in which we are now incorporating additional geriatric principles, such as caring for their supportive care needs, thinking about when palliative care is appropriate, um, recognizing that we not only manage the myeloma, but we need to think about all the other things that can influence their, um, their, their treatment tolerance or treatment effect effectiveness, such as things as if they can't get to their appointments, if they're having difficulty with their memory, loss of physical function, poor nutritional status. So there's increasing recognition about all of these um, factors that really can influence the effectiveness of our um, therapies. Um, overall, in terms of these, these principles, when you think about fitness-based approaches to care, these are still um, under investigation. We have uh, quite a lot of data coming out of single centers. Um, again, the fitness uh, study is one that is highly anticipated um, to be read out in a few years um, based in the UK. And we think that more and more as we see more studies talking about the importance of fitness, that this is going to be a conversation that is going to be at the forefront of caring for myeloma and really will continue to be up there when we think about precision medicine. Um, it's the same way as we think about fitness-based uh, strategies for patients.